Okay, here we go. Okay, Will, I'm going to do a do a limb sanding video for you. Uh, I wanted to show you my my sander here. It's kind of beat up, but uh, it's a very light, very lightweight electric sander, palm sander, very small, small in the hand there, very balanced. I mean, it's just, it's just effortless. Your hand is right here if you're close. The regular palm sanders, the electric ones, well, they've got, you know, they're, they're, they're top heavy and they're real heavy. These things are real light. I don't know, uh, you're probably looking at about, a little, about two pounds, something like that. Anyway, this is a stick-on Velcro type Anyway, this is what I use for sanding my glass. Now I've got, uh, here, let's uh, raise this up just a fuzz. What I've got here is I, I've got a, I've got a bow here that still, still needs to, uh, uh, the tiller, it's out of tiller, the, the bottom of the, the bottom limb's still about, oh, I don't know. It's about a quarter inch out of tiller. I need to, I need to bring this thing off. Uh, I think uh, I can probably double check it here real quick, but uh, I think it needs to come down about another quarter. I did a little bit of sanding on this thing already, so I probably should check it before I, uh, before I start doing some more sanding on this thing. Yeah, I've got about five sixteenths. I still need to bring off the bottom of this thing here. So what I'm going to do, considering I got that much, I'm going to oh by by the way, my vise here, I've got soft rubber in the in in the grip so I don't damage or, or scrape up my you know my riser. I've got a soft uh, you know the rubber rubber pads I put in there. What I'm gonna do is I since I got that much I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a hundred and fifty grit sandpaper. Now this thing the neat part about this sander is it's got a variable speed. I can regulate the speed on this thing. So I'm going to use it at high speed to start out with because I've got to take quite a bit off of this. see how I, I'm just sanding it not real evenly but I'm sanding it until I get that glaze off the glass then then I start counting my uh, my strokes on the on the back side of the limb I did 15 even strokes and now I'll do 15 even strokes on this one <laughs> Okay. You 
I said I stayed away from the edges. I take take 150 grit sandpaper and I work the edges with that. Now the thing that you want to watch, okay, you notice how I, I stayed nice, even strokes and I kept that thing dead level. You can't wobble with that thing, otherwise you get into the edge of your limb. So when you're sanding, you're gonna, you see this little, little spot right there? Okay, don't be tempted as you're sanding. If you see a little spot that, that looks like it needs more sanding, don't stop and hit that one spot, because boy, you'll go right through that glass. You gotta go real nice, even strokes on it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat and go put this thing on a bow stringer over here that makes it a little bit, a little bit easier for me. And I'll show you what I got going here. I've got, I've got two pegs that I just put on this. I put this thing on the, on these pegs, and just bring it back. And it makes it a lot, a lot easier for, uh, for stringing. Okay, I've got a quarter. Okay, just those 15 strokes, both sides brought me, uh, it, it brought me out, well, I'm cutting off my head. There we go. Uh, just, just taking those 15 strokes each side with that sander brought me from 5 16 down to a quarter. And, and so I need to do I need to work on that again, but I, what I wanted to show you is that, that there's little little spots. Okay, you, if you look at the limb, you see there's little spots here and there. Don't be tempted to stop and, and, and try to get out little spots, otherwise you'll end up with flat. It's the same theory as using a long block. Okay, this is what I call a long block. It's just a it's a, a piece of milled wood, about a foot long, and I use a, I use a stick stick on sandpaper that I buy at uh, the Auto Body Supply, and I just stick it back. When you when you're sanding and you want a real flat surface, you can you can sand sand your limb, and you can use a long block, okay. And the, what this will do is this will by using a long block, you're blocking it out. You get all those little uneven, if you ever get any little wiggles in wood or something like that, or you get a wiggle, you use a block and you block it out and that'll flatten the whole surface. This is real important when you're using, there's a lot of grains out there in wood where you get a hard, hard and soft grain, hard and soft grain. If you use a sander, now random orbital sanders get a pretty hard disc and pretty hard back. If you use those rubber sanders that are soft, they'll sand in. They'll, you know, you, you, the more you sand with a with a sander, especially a vibrating sander, the next thing you know, you look at, put the wood up at, in your light, and you'll see the grain, the hard grain standing proud, and the soft grain, and pretty soon you'll just see all the grain, and it won't be flat anymore. When you spray your finish on there, you're going to see the grain, and it's going to look. That's where you need a long block, or with a random orbital sander with a hard pad on it. These things sand pretty dead burn flat. I mean, they, they do a pretty good job, but you can't wiggle. You can, and that's why I don't ever, I don't ever sand the edges of my bow with this because, I, I, you know, these are these take a little getting used to. They sand a lot quicker. You get your weight down quicker. You can get it, get a bow tiller in half the time. You can also screw up your bow real quick with one of these things if you start playing around and using them too much or standing in one area. So anyway, I just thought I'd, I'd let you know that's the basics. Just make sure that you keep, keep your sander real flat and you go nice, long, smooth strokes. You can ease the edges up. You can ease the edges on them, but don't try to do any round over or working in the edge work, do all that stuff by do all that stuff by hand. Okay, when you, when you use a block. 
<coughs> now, on these tips, I, I can I can do my uh, well, while I got you going here. Uh, if you look at these tips, you see how this isn't this hasn't got very much trap to it yet. Okay, it's got if you look real close, you see how how the angle. And this is still pretty square. Let's see. Yeah, see, you can still see it's still pretty square. It doesn't have much of a trap to it. But you can put this thing in your see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. See what I'm doing. Uh, where's the zoom button? Uh, there we go. Let's see if I can get this. now okay see how it not much just about 15 degrees just and then if you look at it see the edge and I'm, I'm only trapping about the last six inches from nothing and then I then I angle it over you know, the really important thing to remember these things have got to be perfectly straight in these 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 these, uh, these string grooves and these string notches have to be absolutely dead center. Everything has got to be absolutely dead center. So when you're once you've got a straight line on this thing and you've got it's really a good idea to keep a, keep a piece of tape on the back side of your limb and keep that center line keep a mark on the center line. Make sure that your tip notches, your overlays are on, your string grooves are filed and rounded over, and you've got this thing strung up to make sure that everything is aligned perfectly before you start trapping the, these limbs. It's real easy if you were to get your string groove off just a little bit, and then take the limb over and center, you lose your center. And you're actually, if you, you got your string groove off just a fuzz, and then you brought your limb over to match that notch, well then your, your bow's gonna be out of the line and you're gonna get a slight twist to it. So, which is a really critical on a, on a longbow with a deep core. But you, you start doing this on a recurve limb, it's critical that everything is just dead center. So anyway, uh, there you have it. I thought I'd show you the sanding stuff here.